with our beautiful, beautiful Jaguars in a planet zoo. They are so cool how they swim underwater. Like, I did not expect this lovely leopard, sorry, Jaguar to just jump and dive. Like, look at it diving in the water. I have not seen a big cat in planet zoo do this before. And it's so really cool how the Jaguars have this really cool ability to swim. But we are here today helping them settle in to their new home which is super cool they have a lot of room they need some climbing areas and they need some places to sleep so let's get them settled in and add in what they need so let's see where are they called they're just jaguars yes okay jaguar jaguar there jaguars all right let's get them some shelter oh this is kind of cool this looks good we could do this and then just add some kind of rocks around it let's just give them yeah let's give them this is that actually enough for them that is actually enough for them and then we can just add some cute because i like the style of this a lot actually i think it's really cute and it's south south american which is where they are from so if we just do that and then we can just add a few kind of stones around the place blend it in a bit make it look a bit natural there we go and that looks really cool it really does i can even bring the leaf bedding out a bit to make it look like this whole area is settled then i love it i love it cute very cute okay so that's their little bed that they have and we can definitely add some cute plants around it as well to kind of make it look like it's naturally been here for a while and then let's see Habitat wise, they need some food. I'm gonna put a large food tray. Hmm, let's see. Well, the guests kind of look in here. And I'm gonna put it right here, I think. I think I'll also have the guests come over here, but we don't know that bit yet, so that's fine. And then they need a climbing area. They need some good old climbable areas. Did they do the trees? No, they don't have the trees. All right, that's fine. Oh, there's this really cool, this really cool brolly shade kind of look. I really love that. That's really cool. Okay, we'll put that somewhere else, definitely. Um, Let's see. I wonder if we can make our own little climbable thing or if we should give them one of the pre-made let's see what they are ah that's quite a good one actually this is quite an easy one i like this one i'm gonna put that one there will that give yes that is perfect for their climbable good i'm glad they like that i'm glad they like that big large climbing okay no that's actually perfect for them so that's all they need apparently i'm just checking to see if we could do anything else <gasps> tiger overpass how cool is that oh we need to use that in another tiger in another tiger exhibit that would be so cool i love the look of that okay they need more soil we will definitely have to add that to an another tiger habitat when we do another one because we'll probably have to do a few more tiger habitats in the future anyways if we were to complete our challenge all right environment so grass and temperate let's get some cute little plants in um what's this thing oh it's it's on waterfall that's why there we go so the arrowwood bushes they really love they don't like the foxtail palms okay here we go going through some of the things around the waterfall which they don't like like a lot of this that they don't like they like the bracken they don't like the bird's nest ferns they don't like the tree ferns they don't like the moss the bamboo they dislike the oh the cool plant i thought that was a cool one and they're taking it away oh that's so sad and then everything else they're happy with okay good i'm glad we've got that settled so now i know what they like whoops uh -oh, i think i thought i upset it then Let's put some bushes around here. 
and let's see what they have a lobster claws in there they have some cool oh acacia palms that would look really cool hang on acacia palms yeah that would look really cool especially in here i'm adding it to the group there we go that looks super cool and then i'll put some down here And then we can maybe put some here. Dangerous animal has escaped. Who? Who escaped? Let me know. Oh, it's one of our western chimps. What do you mean it escaped? It didn't escape. Ha. Huh. Oh, fig jungle. They're fighting in fig jungle again. Is that the babies growing up? Yes, it is. Fern and Nest have grown up. Oh my goodness, they've grown up. Okay, they have a one star rating right now. We're going to have to put them away. And Nest is a one star rating. Okay, we're going to have to tuck them away into our trade center for now, sadly. There we go. I would love to keep them out and build up their star rating, but sadly we can't right now. All right, and let's see. For these two, oh, they look so good in there. And we have people coming over to look at them because why not? They're freaking jaguars. Of course you'd want to come over and see them. All right, let's put some cherry. And some cool, cool little roots. Like, what is this? A Californian redwood tree. That's really cool. Oh boy. <clears throat> Alright, I'm gonna put one of these broken trees in here because this is gonna look really good on the end there. There we go. <laughs> and then let's see. We have a coastal mangrove tree, an ash tree. This looks nice here actually. Let's put an ash tree or two even. We can put a cool looking ash tree over here. There we go. The ash looks very pretty here, actually. I really like the look of them. I'm going to put a few at the tops. There, okay. And then we have some coconut palms. Some common salt wort. Huh. Weird looking bush, actually. Really weird looking bush. I did not know this existed. But there we go. We're going to add it in because we love the plant diversity. And then let's see. A few more of these. Like that. Ah, that looks so cool. And then Ah, oh, the quarter lines. I really love these. I really love these. I think they look really cool. Just a pop of colour in a jungle. They look so cool and then i'm gonna put like a pop of color over here as well maybe under the tree over here we can have another group of them because they look so cool there we go amazing and then maybe just mix some of these in this this custard apple trees in and then what's this dutchman's breeches Oh, beautiful flowers, the Dutchman's Breaches. Oh, wowza. Look how pretty they are. Nice. Really gorgeous flowers. Okay, let's put some down here as well. I really want to make the most of these. Wow, look at that. Look at that. Beautiful flowers. Really, really pretty. There we go. Okay, and then let's see. The elephant ears. They're really cool. You can put it on top of here. 
How cool. How cool. And then it went there. Elephant ear cloth. One over here. One here. This is so cool. I know, like, oh, oh tropical. That's so cool. A fence, an elm tree. <gasps> yes, the golden rod. Ah, oh, these are really cool. I really love the golden rod. Whoops. The golden rod plants. I said love, but I didn't mean that much. <laughs> I didn't mean to heart them. Oh, this looks so cool. They are going to have so much fun in this habitat. Let's click on a jaguar and just check that this is not too much for them. No, this is perfect for them. They adore everything in here. This is making me so happy. The amount of cool plants they have in here is so cool. I wonder if they can actually move around. <laughs> Hopefully they'll still be able to, to move around because I know it sometimes is a problem that they can't. Hydrangea bush. Oh, no. We can't fit one in, I don't think. I think that would be too much for them to fit a, a hydrangea bush in. But maybe a K-pop tree we could fit in somewhere like there. Oh my gosh. That looks so cool. Look at that, you guys. K-pop trees for the win. Wowza. Look at this amazing tropical area that they have down here. Oh my goodness. It's so beautiful. I love it. I love it. I think it is gorgeous. I really, really love it. Put some of these down here. Oh my gosh. This looks epic. It looks so cool. It really does. I'm grinning. I'm grinning. Okay. Anything else? I know I need to stop with the plants, but is there anything else that they could, they would, I'd absolutely die for adding in? The bracken just looks amazing. Like, I wouldn't mind adding a bit of bracken in here and there. Like, this is all adding into the group now, but I love it. Just adding that bracken gives such a nice touch to the plants here so cool okay anything else anything else oh, before i'm done a cute little stump we've done that we've done the hydrangea wishes i'm not putting any of those in the there's the cute little orchids which are adorable we could put at the bottom of the k-pop tree just giving a bit of color oh how amazing is this this just is what this game is about for me the beautiful plants and the diversity that you can put in one habitat and everything to do with this is just amazing look at this look at this can they still move around in this habitat though this might be a problem where they can't move um does this not give them all they need? I think maybe I've blocked it with this plant up here. Is that better, you guys? Yep. Okay, I blocked it with that plant. That's fine. They got loads of room. They've got enough climbing. They've got enough water. Wow. They are really, really happy in this amazing place. <laughs> and we're going to just... Okay. Hang on. Let's just press save. Just to be cautious, because this game is having a bit of up and down today for me. I think it's because everybody's logged on to the community challenge. Alright, there we go. So they are happy, happy, happy jaguars. Who are hopefully going to give us some babies. I would love to have some adorable jaguar babies. Oh, it would be so cute. And actually... What we could also do to help out our keepers, I'm going to see if I can just do this slowly and neatly without ruining anything. Is just to put enough room here to possibly fit in 
Yeah, that worked, that worked. Oh, yeah, it does. Okay, it kind of does, kind of doesn't. I wonder if I can fit a keeper hut in here. Just a plain Jane small one? <gasps> I can. <gasps> no way. Oh, terrain modification failed. I thought it might not like that. <gasps> there we go! It fit! No way! Okay, and then let's just do... Damn it. Okay, I can't fit... Uh, how annoying. Okay. I gotta move it. We've gotta move it. Let's just pause for a second. Oops, I took the whole thing, that's why. Okay. Maybe like that. Oh dear, this is when I ruin everything. All the hard work ruined okay that's that and then i want this like that and then come on this must be able to now attach somewhere it has to <gasps> there we go fixed it fixed it okay there is a hole in the jaguar in the jaguar thing but it's fine i can just i can use rocks and we can just scoop it back like nothing ever happened. All fine. Oh, look at that. Ah, oh, so cool. So now there's a keeper hut right under their noses so that the people can come, so that the keepers can come and look after our amazing animals. Okay. That's the vet research. Oh, we have a Western Lowland gorilla about to. Okay, we have to go and get that about to mature and he will really upset everybody. Okay, this needs to be added in. Tiger zone and then this and this. There we go. This has to be added into Tiger Zone. Oh goodness me. And we have I think we have one keeper in Tiger Zone, so we might need to pull some more keepers. Let's see. Tiger Zone, one staff room, nine staff. So Tiger Zone has one vet, which is fine. I'm gonna train water well. Okay, and then Tiger Zone one keeper there i'm gonna call him tiger keeper tiger keeper um leap okay and then let's see tiger zone that's leopard keeper cloud and this is tiger keeper raw okay so we have three tiger zone yeah we have three keepers in tiger zone and we have four hmm i might I'll just train up this one and hopefully that'll be fine. We have three in tortoise terrain, four on left side, and two in water world, and one is on water world but in something with more specifically. So that should be fine. I'm gonna leave it like that. Multiple animals are hungry though. And what is happening with our little baby tiger? She is hungry? Oh, somebody escaped. I can hear somebody escaping. Oh my gosh, baby tiger escaped. Okay, how on earth did she get out? That's my question. How on earth did baby tiger get out? <laughs> I don't know, but there we go. I've just packed, I've just kind of pulled the, the thing back a bit. Um, these guys are extremely hungry because we didn't have a work zone set to them. Oh goodness. Okay, do we have a keeper coming like urgently? He's inspect inspecting tiger, tiger blossom habitat, so he's actually there trying to uh, inspect them. Oh, lady, lady, and the little and the little other cub is really struggling. I hope they'll be okay. There, there we are. There we are. He's here. He's expecting reporting incident. Is he gonna start running? Cause I don't want dying tiger babies. Thank you. Oh, who is this? Oh, that's Lady. Lady's back. Oh, yes, because she's escaped. I forgot. And who's this? Treating a Bengal tiger. Treating her for what? Is she hurt? Hungry. Okay, okay. Yes, I know. We're going to get some food in here for you. ASAP, I promise. 
incubating. Oh no, she has a disease. She has a disease. Someone come and save our baby tigers. And someone feed the heckin' baby tigers as well. Is the mother gonna get the mother? Is literally starving. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Food, food for the tigers. Come and get it, please. Petal. 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 Come over. No way. No way. Okay. Petal did not get any food. I'm gonna take her to the quarantine before this gets out of control. Because she actually did not get any of the food. Aladdin came and ate it all with Lady. Um, so I'm going to get her boxed up and taken to the quarantine. Oops. And we have flamingos with diseases, which is really bad. We have diseases in the flamingo flock. No. That's a really bad thing because it gets so difficult to control these guys. <laughs> it gets so difficult. Okay, the best way to do this. From my experience, the best way to do this. Alright, you guys. Oh, goodness. Hopefully, they'll be alright. Aladdin's here. She's gone off. She's gone off to the to the vet. The vet's taken her. Hopefully, she'll be alright. Petal. She's been taken. There she is. Oh, good. Okay. She's been put in quarantine. Hopefully, she'll be fed there. They'll feed her and look after her. Let's see. Can I see who's in here? Petal. Under quarantine. Hopefully she'll be alright in there and fixed and then sent back and fed. Oh goodness, that was a very stressful. Thank you guys for watching. That is going to be the end of this episode and I'll see you guys next episode. Goodbye for now.